Okay, he didn't teach me very fucking much. I think the most history until now has kind of been gossip, right? Did you just compare history to gossip? So slavery was just gossip. The Holocaust was just gossip. The two bombs that we dropped on Japan, just gossip. Like, bro, what the fuck are we talking about? What is good with y'all boys? Today we're finna react to the Hop to a podcast is terrible. All right, let's go ahead and tap in, bro. If you want to be a part of these streams, follow the Twitch and join the streams. Let's go. Hop to hop to to hop to the name. Come on, bro. We have Americans in the- in I hate that this is from Nashville, bro. She even got a Nashville shirt on, bro. The know. Pilgrims had a fun dinner. Now Didn't they have a turkey too? No. Definitely not. Well, guys, Hawk Tua. Those two words are something that I've been trying to avoid talking about for the last few months, but recent events have made it basically impossible for me to continue to do that. Yeah, she made a podcast. Now, uh, if none of the words I just said- I like his voice, though. It's soothing. That make any sense to you? Then I don't even really know where to begin. If you're unfamiliar with the Hawk Tua girl, as she's commonly referred to, welcome to the internet. Glad to be the first video you've ever watched on the World Wide Web. But basically, the Hawk Tua girl, aka Haley Welch, is a young woman who recently got famous for a street interview she gave where she talked about a method of sucking a man's penis in which- Why did you say it like that, bro? She spits on it. Or Hawk Tua <laughs> on that thing. Now, if you're like me, you might be wondering why did that make somebody into a millionaire famous person? And honestly, I don't have an answer for you. My running theory know. is that it's because kids these days are really into stupid little phrases that they are somehow able to take and change its meaning entirely think about her head probably trapped no i ain't gonna lie that's one thing that's not true i, I know her. i know a lizzie demon when i see one now, that's not as good as she's advertising but it's for sure good i'm just keeping it real with y'all the gats and the goofy oz stuff like that i feel like hawk tua kind of fits into that kids like saying stupid shit these days but that's nothing new i feel like hawk tua just really managed to resonate with the youth you couple that with a lot of executive corporate types not really under he sound wise on me he sound like he finna give me the key Key to life or some prophecies or some shit, man. I feel I just feel smarter just by listening to him, bro. Standing virality. And then you've got the hawk to a girl invited to be like the keynote speaker for shit. With six figure payments being direct deposited to her bank account to uh I don't know. Talk about spitting on dicks, I guess. I don't I don't really know what she does. All I know is that she's been showing up a lot of places that really make no sense for her to show up at. Whatever it is she's doing though, it's working for her because she's basically become a household name over these last few months. And just like anybody who gets famous in a very short amount of time, she's made a podcast. And, uh, well, how do I put this nicely? You can tell that she's only been famous for a couple of months, and that she got famous for the reasons that she did. It's been said a million times before, not everybody needs a podcast. Somebody who has literally nothing to talk about other than the fact that they made a funny comment during a street interview is one of those people. But that's not gonna stop us from watching it, because it's, uh, it is really, really bad, and you need to see that, okay? So let's not waste any more time let's begin please subscribe come on Haley it's not that bad all right it's time to get out of the bed and quit rotting Haley get up all right I'm ready to talk who is this is that Matt Rife oh brother she's really a Nashvillian so I wanted to start my podcast out here in Belfast Tennessee where I was born at and where I've been ever since until a few weeks ago and everything changed no really oh she's from small town Tennessee same thing bro I even learned that you can't bring a box cutter on a plane <laughs> Okay, so, um, this is how the podcast starts. Not doing any fancy editing here to make this look worse than it is. This is the intro. And I think it's really funny that she decided to include the fact that she didn't know you can't take a box cutter onto an airplane, out of all things. That, that, that's just some country shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, she could have said anything here, right? But she chose to go with that, and this podcast episode was uploaded on September 10th. Now, after this, the first few minutes of the podcast is basically what you'd expect. Introducing the guest, introducing the host host stuff like yo this is horrible for retention ratings by the way like horrible i would have been clicked off like that now as i'm sure you've assumed we're gonna be jumping around a lot where her body count probably in the double digits there's no probably in that buddy you, you, you must you must not be from america man i'm not gonna lie especially not these small towns bro if you over here confident enough to be talking about hot tour i'm telling you right now she was a school bop in her in her town and plus she still lives there of course, yo, she's the town bop, of course. Bro. We're not going to be watching the entire thing, unfortunately. It is almost an hour long. But we are going to watch part of the first thing they talked about, which they've chaptered rewriting history. You'll see why. Get a sky is the limit tattoo. Well, 
what's the, the whole point time. of memorizing any history? Because we've now learned that none of it was true. Yeah, that seems like a bit of an oversimplification, but sure. I learned that the Native Americans and the and the pilgrims had a fun dinner. That, that's that's what I got. From I that. learned that they put on their best shoes with buckles and their best hat, and they all sat down and shared maize. They had corn, and they had a cornucopia, and it went great. And now Didn't you- they have a turkey, too? <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, what are we talking about, bro? We talking about Thanksgiving? I don't care about this, bro. Like, you feel me? That's the problem with this podcast, though. There's nothing about this podcast that's entertaining, bro. It's so mid. It's just mid. <laughs> so for some reason this stood out to me me and Haley is trash the to a girl I don't know what she likes to be referred to as I'm gonna say Haley for the rest of the video we're the same age I'm three months older than Haley we are both 22 years old and this is just bro you sound way older than 22 bro you sound like you at least 35 complete bullshit right anybody else my age here to back me up I can't speak on behalf of Whitney she's 42 I don't know what went on in the 20 years between us but maybe it has something to do with the fact that she says she hates history so maybe she wasn't paying attention. But I definitely did not get the whole, oh yeah, the Native Americans and the colonizers, yeah, they were really good buddies. And I'm from the South. Oh, me, they're not good buddies. <laughs> oh, me, they hated us. Surely. And them, not us. No, I was oppressed too. There is not a chance in hell that there is a modern curriculum left in the United States that is still trying to pretend like we were super friendly to the Native Americans, right? Right? Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue and... 1960. Oh, yeah, that's that Tennessee, that good old small town Tennessee education right there. Edumacation, as you would probably call it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he didn't teach me very fucking much. I think the most history until now has kind of been gossip, right? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of just like, you know what I mean? Well, like, I feel. Hold on, bro. The fuck did you just say? 1492. Okay, he didn't teach me very fucking much. I think the most history until now has kind of been gossip, right? Did you just compare history to gossip? So slavery was just gossip. The Holocaust was just gossip. The two bombs that we dropped on Japan, just gossip. Like, bro, what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of just like, you know what I mean? Well, like, like I feel like said. if I won a battle, I'd be like, not only am I going to tell this story, but I'm also going to say, like, my opponent was, like, fat and stupid. Like, you know, I'm going to add yeah. insult to it, too. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because he's not here to set the record straight. Right, there was no way. I, I mean, it's like people are like, what if Ch ChatGPT, like, photoshops photos? It's like, we had paintings before where the king was telling them what to paint. I mean, that was probably worse than Photoshop. Yeah, I'd be right. <laughs> like Mona Lisa. Okay, I need to ask. This is the... the what, what, what's the point of this conversation? You guys, this sincerely. Do you think this is a bit? Like, is this a character or something? Is she sort of playing up the whole simple southerner thing or what? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, wholeheartedly, I wholeheartedly believe she's actually a simple southerner. I really do. I honestly do. I, I just feel like it is. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but listen to the words that these people are saying. Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean. Now, she is sailing the country shit because... She doesn't, bro, I promise you, uh, I don't know, bro, I, I didn't, oh, fuck, I'm losing brain cells, let me just stop talking. Blue in 1962, and a king told somebody to paint the Mona Lisa this ain't no character, though. history, like what? So, um, you've had Jake Paul, you've had, uh, I don't know what order you're going to do these in, but you've had Jake Paul on? Yes. Is that it? Yes, so far. Jake's yeah. pretty wild. He, he's a little spooky to talk to. Really? That, that, that's like a man, you know. Yeah. That is not like a little soft boy, you know. It's easy to talk to. That That's a whole man right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah. You know, I'm a little ass girl over here talking to this grown f man. I was like, what the f I talk to him about, you know? Haley, you are five years younger than Jake Paul. What's with the weird infantilization? He was exactly what I expected. Like, he lets on like he's an asshole. And that's what I like about him. He owns up to that shit. He knows it. Mm -hmm. that's what, I got respect for him for that. I like that. Like, I, like I can that. be an asshole, too. And he's comfortable. Chad, I might put on the wheel, react to the Hot Tua podcast for 15 minutes just for torture, you feel me? Just so y'all, you feel me, donate some more. I might have to do that, bro, because, oh my, yo, this is pissing me off. Comfortable with controversy. He, yeah. Like, he's okay he's with that. very comfortable with that. Yeah, we're like four minutes in, and we're already endorsing Jake Paul just because he's a fucking douchebag. This is my new favorite podcast, guys. I've never understood this logic, and I've heard it be used a surprising amount of times. Yeah, that guy's a fucking dick. Nobody wants to be around him. Nobody really likes him. But you know what? He knows that about himself, so he gets my thumbs up. Very strange thing to promote. Just imagine if Chelsea said hawk to it not you that night i 
would, would Chelsea be sitting in that chair? I would not have dealt with it as good as you did. Can I'm scared. Can we hear you say it? She don't give a fuck. It's her let's problem. Just, let's just hear she you say it. She does not give a single Hot fuck. To. One more time. I can't do it as good as Do anybody. it. You do it. No, you do it. Hot oh. to. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. You, you go. gotta put, like, an emphasis on it, like, to. You know, like, really to. Good. Yeah. Say it. All right. All together. Hot to. Hot to. Hot to. Say it aggressive. Like, like Hot really to. Like, like you're mad it. at the day. You're mad at it. Hot are we talking about bro what is this conversation <laughs> yeah. okay, what is so when this I first heard about this podcast this is honestly what i expected it to be i thought it was going to be sort of like hot ones at least spiritually in a way where anybody who comes onto the podcast has to go through this like hawk to a gauntlet you got to prove you can hawk to it with the best of them so i'm glad to see that they took my idea is this entertaining for people like am i just miserable you know i ask that question a lot in my videos maybe i should go talk to somebody but like seriously is this funny to others am i the issue please let me know have you ever had to shit at a man's house yeah i just how can this be like a weekly thing are y'all just finna talk about sexual shit for hours on end every single week my brain is feeling mushy right now bro it's decaying nigga shit i don't even try to hide it <laughs> Okay, real, but we, said, we got it. We got it. We got the soundbite <laughs> yeah. that's gonna make her as famous as Haley. Well, I'm, holy I'm, shit! I, mean, it's it's too. I, I just we have a sign called "shitting with I Chelsea." Mean, just <laughs> it. I'm in. She's hot to spit on that thing. I'm hot to shit, shit on that thing. <laughs> shit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get through this video. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get her a hat that says "shit, shit on, on that thing." <laughs> okay, maybe not. Shit do on that, that thing. <laughs> that respect. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. I never knew 30 seconds of a video could make me feel physically ill. New good the zing way, we've skipped like 25 minutes of the podcast. I'm sorry, but they were just talking about getting drunk and then like vaginal wigs. I don't know what's a joke and what's not. Vaginal wig. Oh, brother. But I had to show you guys the shit on that thing segment followed up by a dab. And look, I know I said that made me feel physically ill, but really, if we're being honest, I can't think of a more appropriate podcast for somebody to whip out a dab it feels right oh yeah Haley's it's first sick. flight ever Whitney by the way her first flight she ever went on was like three weeks ago now maybe a month ago you and had never, a month so you had never flown before you went viral no and everything in my damn like carry on she brought a knife actually it was two knives and they got confiscated you brought knife nigga she brought two knives into a BNA bro you look at these shoot your ass what the oh, come on bro knives to the airport <laughs> Yeah. You got a little girl going out here somewhere she's never been unarmed. You lost your fucking mind. You brought weapons into. Oh, yeah. She good in the country. She good in country. Oh, no. Nah. TSA. Yeah, in 20. Her accent cute. I'm not finna lie. I do like her accent, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. It's a little cute country accent. Oh. In 20. He's like, ma'am, what's this? And I was like, oh. Okay, why are we going back to this little girl stuff? Look, I have no problem with somebody being armed. You best believe I'm not leaving the house if I'm not strapped. But I feel like everybody knows that you don't take that kind of stuff to the airport, right? I hate her accent. You just not used to it, bro. I've, I've heard some girls try to fake an accent like this. They never get it. She actually... Niggas might say her accent is horrible, but she actually has a full-blown country accent. It's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Right? Like, I feel like that's a universal thing. Major Obviously, there are right? ways that you can legally take guns and knives into an airport. But that's not what I'm talking about here. I don't think I've ever met a person in my entire life, whether they've flown or not, who thinks you can just walk onto a plane with a knife. Now, we've been jumping around a lot, but I promise you, you haven't missed anything important. I kind of let this play in the background while I was doing something else, just to really get the full experience. And some of this shit I heard, I, I don't even know how it fits into the conversation. You a better man to me, like bro. 99% sure i heard something about Haley bieber's cum at one point not sure where that slots in here but i think we've seen enough is this podcast bad yes should it exist absolutely not but i mean at the end of the day can't you say that about most podcasts really as a guy whose only exposure to podcasts has been the ones i've talked about on this channel which are famously bad i feel like i'm pretty qualified to make that statement well guys what do you think is talk to a gonna go down in the history books as one of if not the most important piece of media of our time i'm 
thinking maybe. Unfortunately for Haley, I can't imagine this lasting too long. To be fair, I've said that for like the last... Give it like four months. They're going to try to keep on pushing it, bro. What's going to take this podcast over the edge is when they start getting like a lot of features. They're going to start getting a lot of features and the podcast is going to be strictly a clip-based podcast. There's no longevity with this podcast. Unless they get like some different personalities. It's two months. But Yo, if they get that Morgan Wallen co-sign though, or like Zach Bryan gets on this podcast, yeah, it's going to stay relevant. I'm not going to lie. Freaking boomers into thinking you're an actual celebrity and maintaining an audience for a podcast. Those are two very different things. I think these first few episodes- Cloud, you'd fold for a potato. Nigga, I'm not folding for a potato. A potato doesn't have pussy. We'll get a lot of views just because of the novelty, but once that wears off, I think the reality of the situation will start to present itself. Not hoping for that, not wishing for it. Don't get me wrong. I hope Miss Hawk Tua has all the success in the world. I just don't see it happening. Good video, man. Cloud watch when you sign with Diddy. I'm not signing with Diddy. What are we talking about? Oh, all right, that, yeah, that's it. <laughs>